If you are an engineer or an engineering student looking to find a way to work online but you don't know where to start, this video is for you. There are several ways to start earning money online as an engineer or really any other profession, but it depends on how much you are willing to put efforts into it. In this video, I will provide you with four ways to earn money online. So let's start. The first way is to become a freelance engineer. Many engineering companies are looking for engineers that can work from home. I will give an example. If you are a civil engineer and you are interested in structure design, then you can find a job where you can work remotely and design houses, bridges, or other structures. Or maybe you are a software engineer who writes mobile applications. So many companies are looking for someone who can do that from home. These types of jobs have existed years ago, but the demand is increasing due to the current pandemic. You can find jobs like that on LinkedIn or Indeed or other websites and I will include a list of these websites in the description. So working for a specific company as a freelance engineer is one of the options. The other option is actually to help other engineers in a certain task. Many engineers sometimes struggle doing a certain task. Let's say designing a certain part of a machine. So, they start looking online for people who freelance to help them with such tasks. There are many websites where you can put your profile out there, such as Fiverr, and I will put a link in the descriptions for more websites. You put your profile out there and you will tell the engineers that you can perform such tasks and they will contact you and they will pay you. So the first way was to actually work in your domain for a company from home or to help an engineer perform a certain task. The second method is tutoring. Many college professors or even school teachers around the world were not prepared well for the transition from in-person classes to online classes. So that's why many students are going online looking for tutors to help them understand their courses. As an engineer, you can tutor these students online on Zoom or Skype or whatever app you want and you will get paid to do that. There are many websites or platforms such as Chegg and Fiverr where you can do that and I will include more in the description. Now a warning. Some students ask you to do their own homework or I have seen many instructors offering to solve students' homework. Please don't do that. This is unethical and I do not respect anyone who does that. Help your students understand the concepts but do not solve their assignments for them. Moving on to the next way to earn money online as an engineer. Passive income means you do not need to work actively to get paid. You just do something initially and the earning will start coming continuously. I am here assuming that you want to work in your field as an engineer. So one of the best ways is to publish online courses on something you are passionate about. If you are a mechanical engineer, for example, you can teach stuff about how engines work and stuff like that. Or if you are an electrical engineer, you can sell courses on electric circuit designs. Whatever your field is, you can always find topics you love to do and do courses about. Now, I know that many people do not believe that getting money through selling online courses is possible, and that's exactly what I used to think. When I started selling my courses on Udemy, I used to earn only $14 a month. Currently, Sarah and I, we sell our courses and we get on average around $500 a month from that. There are tons of resources about the requirements you need for recording courses, but essentially you need a good microphone, an okay camera if you intend to show your face, a screen recorder on your computer, and a video editor. I will include more information in the description if you're interested in that. When you finish recording and editing your courses, 
you can publish them on websites such as Udemy, Skillshare, and many other platforms where they automatically market for your courses to millions of students around the world. Try to create courses that are original and in new so that students choose your courses. If you create courses similar to the ones already published, it will be harder for you to gain money. Moving on to the last method to earn money online. Becoming a YouTuber. This is a tricky one here because it depends on your presentation skills and how much effort you're willing to put into the production quality. Many engineering educators on YouTube do not have many subscribers or revenues because the students come and watch their tutorials without subscribing, without feeling a connection with the instructor. You need to create good and simple tutorials and make sure you focus on the audio quality. Students cannot tolerate a tutorial with a terrible audio quality. As an engineer, you have two options on YouTube. Create public science videos, which means you create top quality videos like channels smarter every day or mark robber or practical engineering but these videos need to be understood by the public and they require high production quality this means you will spend lots of time researching interviewing people editing publishing and even optimizing the thumbnail of your videos to get views Big public science communicators on YouTube can earn up to $4 million a year just from advertisement. But again, it takes lots of effort and time to do that. Now, the other method on YouTube is to create one hour mini courses on YouTube. I'm currently experimenting with that. If you publish several courses on YouTube with good quality, then you will earn lots of money for sure and be able to make a living. Recently, I started making around $60 a month from YouTube and I never imagined that I could make a cent on YouTube. And by the way, the increase in the revenues is very steady. So very soon, I will be earning around $100 a month just from being an online educator on YouTube. And that's not bad, right? The other content you can publish on YouTube is videos where you can share your life as an engineer. Many high school students and other people are interested in your engineering field. So talk about your field and share videos of you working and try to teach something beneficial for people. So that's it for this episode. If you have any suggestions for the next episode, please let me know. Thanks for watching and see you later and peace.